hear me. Storms don't come just because of disobedience. No, 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 no. Storms create the opportunity for obedience. That's so good. I got to say it again. Storms don't just come because of disobedience. Storms come as an opportunity for obedience. What do you mean? God will allow storms because the purpose of a storm is to force you to take the word that you just heard, put it into action so you can get the promises that the word has already promised to you. So the disciples heard the word. But the storm was an opportunity for them to demonstrate that, number one, they believed the word. It was an opportunity for them to take that word that they just heard and put it into action. So our our beautiful country, America, was founded by believers. My country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing, land where my fathers died, land the pilgrims pride on every mountainside let freedom i mean in god we trust god bless america land that i love why do we have all of this in our society because our country was founded by believers in 1776 it is 2016 which means that for 240 years we have been hearing the word in a variety of ways so this storm that our country and our community is in is just an opportunity for us to demonstrate that we believe all of this word we've been hearing for 240 years. Isn't it interesting that 40 is the number that represents the amount of time the nation of Israel had to wander in the wilderness? America has been founded since uh, 1776. We've been a country for 240 years. Maybe God is saying that we're going to keep circling in the wilderness until we begin to believe all of this word that we have been hearing. Teach Pastor Van.